Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to give a quick overview of doing conditional element display in Breakdance versus doing conditional element display in Elementor using the various add-ons for Elementor necessary to achieve conditional element display. Okay, here I am inside Breakdance. Let's take a look at the built-in conditions functionality. So I have a header here, and I have a menu I've created with the built-in Mega Menu Builder, and I have a login dropdown that shows a login form. Of course, I only want to show this to logged out users. I want to show an account link to logged in users. So to do that, I'll click the element I want to show conditionally. That's this login link. I'll go to settings, and then I'll go to conditions. And from here, we can choose to hide or show the element based on pretty much anything. So let's go into edit conditions, and let's add in a condition. I only want to show this to logged out users. So under choose condition, I'm going to look for user logged in status. I'm going to choose is, and then I'll choose logged out. And I'll hit apply conditions. And now on the front end of the website, if user logged in status is logged out, um, we'll show this element. Otherwise, it will be hidden. Okay, let's say we want to add in an account link that appears for logged in users. To do that, I'll just add in a menu link and we'll make the link text account, set up a dummy URL. I'll go to settings, conditions, edit condition, and add a condition for user logged in status is logged in. And now this will only apply if the user logged in status is logged in. Now inside Breakdance, we don't want to hide your elements based on the conditions when you're in the editor, because then how would you be able to see your edits? How would you be able to actually see the design you're creating. So we leave everything visible in Breakdance, but inside Breakdance, if you do want to preview any element as hidden, you just go to conditions and then in Builder Preview, and you can choose Always Hide, and that will hide it. But let's close that out and we'll show it. There we go. Login only displays to logged out users. Account only displays to logged in users. Breakdance has a large number of conditions built in. So if you go to edit conditions and just look through this list, we have conditions for post, post parent, page, page parent, any custom post type and their associated parents, ID, status, comments, number, a lot of good stuff is built in. We also have dynamic data, which is super powerful. You can check any dynamic data point. And since our dynamic data integrates with advanced custom fields, tool set and meta box, again, built in, you can check, for example, the value of an advanced custom fields field. So here I have an options page with an image field on it. Let's just check to see if that field is actually set. So I can just choose is not empty, or I could do something if it is empty. And I can combine conditions too. I can use and and or. So for example, I could do page is a certain page. And, and then I could go user logged in status is logged in. And then the element would only appear if we're on a specific page and the user is logged in. So you can get very advanced with that. You can also stack conditions with or instead of clicking and just hit add a condition and then you get another group of rules. So you can do if this or if that. So it's quite powerful. You can also add custom PHP conditions in breakdance. So you can just choose add condition and then just choose custom PHP. And you can edit the PHP for that condition directly inside Breakdance. No need for a code snippets plugin. So this is great if you need to do something highly custom and just want to whip it up quick right inside the editor. Next up, let's take a look at conditional element display in Elementor. So in Elementor, there is no built-in functionality for conditional element display, but there are a number of third-party add-ons available that will add this functionality to Elementor. So here, let's take a look at visibility logic for Elementor. This is a free plugin with a pro upgrade, relatively popular um, and highly rated. I've already installed it on this Elementor website. So let's take a look and see how it works. So I will add in a login form going with the previous example. And I only wanna show this to logged out users. So once you activate this plugin inside your WordPress install with Elementor, in the Elementor tabs, you'll see a new tab called Stacks Visibility. And you can just click that and enable visibility logic. And now we can choose whether we show the element or hide the element, um, whether it's going to be 
um, and or or. The wording here is a little different in breakdance, but the idea is the same. And then you can choose your different conditions. So most of the conditions are pro only, but there are a few commonly used free conditions such as user role or login status. So let's choose to show this element um, and go to user role, enable that, and then we'll show it to guests. So the login form will be shown to guests. And then maybe I had an account page. Um, I don't on this site, but just for demonstration purposes, let's just pretend that this heading element is going to be my account widget. And under stacks visibility, enable visibility logic. And we're going to show this if user role is logged in users. So similar idea of breakdance, drawback is it's not built in. And if you want all the good conditions, many of these are built into breakdance and uh, in element, or you have to buy an add-on. Some of these though, they're not available in breakdance. Of course, in breakdance, we have some things that they don't have either. So it's, you know, kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. You got to evaluate what you want for your own needs. Of course, in breakdance, you have the ability to extend the conditions with the PHP right in the builder. So you really can do anything if you know how to do it. Now let's take a look at premium add-ons for Elementor. This is another highly rated and very popular Elementor extension. There's a free version and an upgrade to a pro version. I've installed a free version on this website. Let's go into Elementor and take a look at how it works. So if I add in a login form, instead of using Stacks Visibility, we'll use premium add-ons. We do that in advanced and then display conditions. And we'll enable display conditions and you can choose much the same show or hide, and then you can add in the conditions. And they have a much better range of free conditions than the Stacks Visibility plugin I showed earlier. Uh, but for the more advanced conditions, um, you get to upgrade to the pro version. But anyway, let's choose user logged in status is logged in. And uh, then it'll only be shown if the user's logged in. If we want to show if the user's logged out, we just choose is not logged in. You get the idea. Lastly, I want to mention the Breakdance developer documentation. This is for developers who know PHP code and are looking to extend Breakdance. So of course you have the built-in conditions in Breakdance of which there are many, and you can write your own custom PHP conditions directly in the builder. But if you wanted to create a plugin of conditions and reuse that, if you were doing highly custom stuff across multiple websites and didn't want to duplicate your effort, you can add any any conditions you want to the built-in breakdance conditions functionality by using the breakdance conditions API. We have documentation for that here. It's very simple to use if you know PHP code. You just give it the name for the condition, the operands for the condition, and the possible values for the condition, and then a PHP function that runs to evaluate whether to show or hide that element, whether the condition is true or not. Okay, that is an overview of conditional element display in Breakdance versus conditional element display in Elementor. Ultimately, no real winner here. The main difference is that in Breakdance, the functionality is built in. But in Elementor, you can achieve similar results using an add-on. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.